Howdy folks, Kirk and Jason here with Kirk Giordano Plastery. Today guys, I want to show you how to fix some retaining walls that are uh, beat up. This one's seen better days, but it didn't get this bad until all these recent rains. It lifts and dropped it. So these folks called me and said, Kirk, can you fix that? I thought, almost blindfold I can. So, I mean, what, what they had here, it was all together, and then the rain just lifted. We're on a busy street, big trucks go by, vibration, you see that? That's new, no dirt dust in that crack. These are, uh, it's just, it's typical, guys. This is typical with 120-year-old uh, houses. It's typical with a 30-year-old house if that concrete wasn't done extremely well. And all they got, well, okay, that one just come right out, and... Some of these just come right out. Uh, we'll take it. Let's. Oh, this is just like a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> we'll bring this home for Avery, and he could learn to put it all back together. So you put this one in here, guys. You put this one in here. Kidding. All right. What we're gonna do, guys, is I got my brother Lou. He's mixing me up some hot mud. What does hot mud mean? That's just. I said, Lou, mix me up something that sets in five to ten minutes. I'm going to grab it out, put it in my hand, make a little ball out of it, throw it in there, take a trowel and hit it here, hit it here and there. And it's a five-minute fix for me because my brother Lou is going to mix. But what I first have to do is nothing will adhere to dirt, dust, grime, moss. And I happen to see a little bit of moss up here. And since this is new because of the rains lifting it, uh, it's kind of clean, but we're gonna take a wire brush, then we're gonna take some bonding agent. Doesn't matter what bonding agent you guys use, but it's gotta have some kind of a mechanical bond. And so this right here, it's blue. I could always see uh, if I miss a spot, they have quickcrete, sackcrete, all these are bonding agents you could buy at Home Depot or Lowe's or any of your neighborhood uh, hardware store so I'm gonna go ahead we're gonna clean this up real quick and then Lou when he's done with that I'm gonna slap that in and show you just how fast it is to fix this you can see that little mess there <laughs> I said I was gonna use my hand I was gonna make meatballs and and just throw them on there so I'm gonna stay with that I could use up my hawk but just for the sake of showing you guys how easy this stuff is and you gotta have the right cement guys what's the right cement Everybody's making same-day cements. Rapid Set, sold at Home Depot and Lowe's, is actually a pretty good cement because when they say Rapid Set, that means it sets rapidly. So, I like something that sets in like five minutes, guys. Five minutes, normally you'll see me using a, a trowel to push this in, but just because I can. I'm using my hand with a glove naturally. Uh, all stucco is not good for your skin. In fact, it's kind of harmful. Anyway, uh, this is going to get hard in a matter of, oh, five minutes. Get it in that crack. Okay, get the old patty cake treatment. I'll quit messing around in a minute, guys. All right, just for the sake of showing you that, now, since I was acting cute, I gotta clean my gloves because I can't grip the trowel. So, clean that up. I take my handy dandy trowel. Now, the top here, I'm just gonna float that in. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I'm doing a house next door, actually. And I asked the fellow, I said, Paul, how well do you know these guys? And he said, I've known them for 25 years. I said, yeah? You think, you think they'd mind if I fix their concrete? And he says, I don't think so. I mean, is it a freebie? And I said, of course. I couldn't fix somebody's concrete and then say, hey, you owe me some money. They'll say, for what? Who are you? Anyway, uh... My buddy Paul, the house we're working on, he said, yeah, they're great people. So I'm just doing this to prove a point, guys, just to prove a point uh, of particular products because I happen to have this. And he was telling me they're kind of, uh, well, they're a bit old, like me. So 
So I'm showing you guys how to fix this. Now, that's all there is to it, guys. Um, I am going to have to let this set because I told my brother Lou, give me some stuff that will set in like five minutes. Uh, this is going to set in 15 minutes, which uh, if you watch what we do, I sure as heck don't like watching paint dry. So I'm going to stop right here and use this cement on something else that it, on the house that I'm working on for money. We'll leave, give this a few minutes and then when it sets, I'll show you how we float this. Here's what we do if we got a corner that's being finicky. It's like saying, you're not controlling me. We are controlling everything. So we just put that there, hit it, pull that out, and we create that corner. We let that set right here where we have a little bit of an issue. Not the end of the world. Take that same hawk, guys. Put it here. Hold it here. Put some mud here. Now, I hold it. I pull this. Boom, I got that one corner. You want the other side? Okay, let me try different hands here. Take this mud here. Put this here. Oops, not enough. Take a little bit of this. Oh, since I can't do that, I'm going to rob Peter. Pay Paul. Instant corner, guys. So, let me take that. I'll just take some of this stuff that I dropped. Hit that again. And we wait five more minutes. So I've given that a whole five minutes while I did other stuff. Here's what you want to do. You want to take a sponge float with a handle. Can you use your kitchen sponge? You could, but it's got a handle. It's easier. Where it's real heavy, I want it dry. Dry it out. Dry it out. Come on, dry it out. Because where it's uh, thin, I'll use a lot of water. You let this be a lesson, too. You guys see a neighbor with stucco work, say, hey, man. Why don't you guys hire those Giordano guys? They'll be like, why? You used them? And you say, no. You just watch the video and he was doing some work for a neighbor for free. <laughs> okay. Uh, so now that's six, seven inches thick, but this rapid set, it, uh, it hardens fast. It hardens strong too. It's, it's like three times harder, stronger than your average Portland cement. What other products can you use? Quick Creed. Uh, you could use Sac Creed. All of them make a same day stucco. And get somebody to mix for you guys. I have Lou mix. So, speaking of Lou, he came over and he says, Well, what if they come home and they say, Hey, now we have to paint that. <laughs> Only you could think of something like that, Lou. I, th I thought they might say, Hey, can I get you a cup of coffee or something for that? Uh, <laughs> so what do you guys think? These guys are going to come home and look at this and go, Man, who fixed that stuff? And now i got to paint it. Or would they say, Hey, somebody did us a favor. Cool beans. I think they'll say, Cool beans. Good to see that eye sore out. And it's right here where people walk by. You know how that keeping up with the Joneses stuff. You don't want your house beat up right in the front. You could have it beat up right in the back or on the side where no one sees it. But where you see it all the time and where other people, you got to have it pretty. You know that Jones thing. Got to keep up with the Joneses. Got to have a pretty house. Okay, so now I'm just feathering stuff in. I'm looking at what they have. They have a sand finish that's been painted, and this house is a hundred years old. Actually, it's older than a hundred. So what they got here is kind of typical. It is typical, guys. You get that much rain, or you get movement, vibration. Remember, vibration to stucco and concrete is like kryptonite to Superman. It's not good. So. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to clean this up. Anyhow, that's all there is to it. 
and it does look a lot better than what it did anyway guys I might take a peek at that and say hey touch it up here and there my name is Kirk Jason's on the camera we thank you guys for watching it as usual we'll see you guys on the next one all right folks we want to thank you all for watching if you enjoy the videos that we put out please like and subscribe so that we can keep making these videos for everybody and as always from the, from the entire, entire Giordano family we'll, we'll see, see you on the next one, one.